Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is another video where I will attempt to solve a question that's come up in the Power Automate community forums. So what this person wants to do, they have a JSON array and that array contains IDs, which some of which are the same and some of which are different. And he wants to take all the IDs where they're the same, like this example here, and move the file names into an array. So he's put his desired output, which is always helpful. So this is pretty easy to do. So let's just build it up quickly. So I'll add a compose action and I'm going to rename this to origin, original JSON. And just paste it in there. And then I'm going to add a select. And I'm going to rename this to IDs. And that's going to the source of that will be the original JSON. And now I'll put switch it to text mode. And I will use the expression item ID. This uh, text mode is quite handy because it enables you to produce a simple array. So the output of that will be just a simple array of IDs, which will contain duplicates. So I'll have eight, seven, five, four, seven three times. So then I'm going to do union IDs, union IDs, and that will make the output unique. So I'm going to call this unique IDs. Now I'm going to an apply to each loop. I'm going to call this each ID. And the input for that will be the output of unique IDs. And then I'm going to add a filter array action. And I'm going to go back and filter our original JSON. And I'm going to use item ID, where that is equal to the current item of our each ID loop. So that's going to filter that list down. In the first instance of the loop, it will give us these three, and the second will give us just that one. So now I am going to add another select action. And this time I'm going to use the outputs of the filter array and put it back into text mode again. And it will be file name. So I'll call this files. And I'll add a compose action again. And this one will be called combined maybe. And I'll create a new JSON object in here. And it's going to be ID. And ID will be current item. And then files, which will be an array. It's going to be the output of files. Then I'm going to add another compose action, which I'm going to delete in a moment. And I'm just going to use the input of this as the output of combined. <clears throat> then I'm going to go into peak code and grab that piece of code there and just delete this action. I'm going to add a new step, compose. I'm going to rename this to be all underscore IDs. And I'll put the outputs of combined in there. So let's just save it and test and see what we get. Okay, so we've got the output he was looking for, I think. There's the ID, here's the test one, two, three files, and there in that one is test 877. Other things that we could do in here, um, we could take this unique IDs step and just remove it. We could take that union there and use that as the input for the loop. Then we wouldn't need unique IDs. Um, 
and that's about it really. So that should do what he wants. Let's just test that again now that I've modified it. Yeah, so that's quite neat. Let's just have a quick look at where we, what happened. So there was the original JSON. This created us a simple array of IDs that had duplicates. We can't see the unique IDs anymore because it went straight into this each ID, but we know it worked because it was only two instances of this applied to each. So in our filter array, filter array action takes that original list with the two distinct IDs in it and brings it down to just the three entries for <clears throat> 87547. This makes us our nice array of simple file names. And then this JSON object is the combined output. This step, all IDs, is kind of interesting. This is an array that is generated from the outputs of combined, um, which is exactly what we want. So I hope this solves his problem and helps out anybody else who is trying to do a similar thing. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.